does Black Pride come off as... But White Pride comes off as... Just a good old boy. Never meaning no harm. This is Dara Star Tucker, and this is The Breakdown. Black and white pride come off very differently in the U.S. because of the way that race and culture developed here. See, the concept of race is a colonial construct. It's a theory based on pseudoscience that was developed to create a hierarchy to group people by skin color. The theory of race falsely claims that people who come from sub-Saharan Africa are at the bottom of the pyramid in terms of intelligence, desirability, and overall worth. It made them subhuman. The lighter your skin was, the more valuable and entitled you were. It's all made up, since the concept of race is not attached to any legitimate bi biological or scientific truths. Race is not real, but racism is. Black people were brought to the United States in chains from countries all over the continent of Africa, like Nigeria, Ghana, the Congo, and the Ivory Coast, with their own unique ethnicities, traditions, and cultures. But when they hit U.S. shores, they were simply called Negroes, and their cultures were stripped away. The people with white skin who migrated from countries like England, Germany, the Netherlands, and Spain, Caucasians, brought their cultures with them. So colonial powers cut black people off from the rest of American society. They weren't allowed to attend school, they had to develop their own worship services, and their own social framework, but they were also cut off from their cultures of origin. They weren't allowed to practice their religions or speak their languages of origin, and their social customs from their homeland started to fade over time. So what do you think they did? They began to develop a distinct culture of their own. This is what's known as Black American culture. Blackness in the U.S. is not just a color or a racial grouping based on pseudoscience. It's a culture. It represents triumph in the face of extreme adversity. It's something to take pride in. If you're a white person in the U.S., you can probably trace your ancestry back through many generations. Descendants of enslaved people usually can't do this. Records generally were not kept of marriages of enslaved people if they were allowed to marry at all. It was illegal for them to learn how to read and write, so they weren't able to pass down any of their own family histories or customs. Southern pride can often be a stand-in for toxic masculinity, racism, and the fear of outsiders. So much of it was born of the need to marginalize, oppress, and harm non-white people that it can carry an earned stigma in the minds of so many people. And so much of mainstream American culture has descended into gross consumerism. Many Americans would be hard-pressed to define what their culture is outside of Walmart, Applebee's, and megachurches. In short, black pride developed out of the need to overcome her horrific circumstances. Black culture was born out of triumph in the face of isolation, hardship, and persecution. It's pride that's tied to achievement. Things like Irish pride, Italian pride, Scottish pride, they're attached to culture and should be celebrated as well. But white pride? Well, that's simply a celebration that you were born at the top of a phony racial pyramid, and it carries all of the ugly baggage that comes with that complicated history in the United States. To learn more about this topic, visit the reading list at the link in my bio.